In this phase, we've taken all of the cocoons out of the reeds. We put them in a bath of cool water. And all I'm doing is rinsing and agitating this to take off the external debris. And that's ranges, that's the mud, bee feces, pollen. And you're also searching for parasites or any bad boys that um, might uh, infest the hive, or the, you know, the, the reeds next year. Um, they say if any cocoons sink, you don't want them because they're opened up and probably not viable anyway. You're also looking for parasites like chalk brood. Um, and they say to deal with that, you can actually soak these in a slight, a mild solution of bleach, which I might do anyway, since I'm not an expert at knowing exactly what chalk brood looks like. But these already look exactly like the cocoons that I've been shipped from Crown B in Washington. But what's cool is that these are now native New Hampshire bees. And I would think be more viable and, and um, amenable to the native flowers that we've had in our garden and that they, the moms grew up on and laid these cocoons. So, so this is a hundred cocoons easy. Probably. And compared to last year's <laughs> harvest, which was... I think we had six. Six cocoons. <laughs> so this is a spectacular success. So now I'm going to strain these and probably re-rinse in a slight solution.